Hi, and welcome to Best Fit TV. We've got another great show for you. We've got the regular feature, the challenge, Ruth's transformation. I'm doing a bungee workout in the out and about, and another viewer's got a tasty recipe for us. I'll be training with Amy Fuller, who's an Olympic snowboarder, and Ben is back on the high street showing you guys what's the best things to eat. Yeah, loves Ben's feature. And who of you guys is guilty of relying on their fitness trackers too much? Are you? Yeah, mm -hmm. use them. A recent study has revealed that up to 32% are giving wrong readings. The biggest culprits being Pebble at 17%, Samsung at 14% and Apple at 7%. So don't rely on your trackers too much. And who like me is guilty of taking the brown eggs over the white eggs? There's actually the exact same mm. nutritional value in the both. I didn't know that. Same whites, same yolk, yeah. but the brown eggs are 25% more expensive. Yeah. I do that. Brown bread, brown eggs. So we don't need to do that now. No. No. <laughs> and do you have any bad... Gym habits, Laura. Um, bad gym. I sometimes don't like to stretch. Just want to get out of the gym. I'm guilty of that too. We're all there in the gym, last rep, straight out the door. You'd always warm down as well as warming up. You'll get the results better in the long run. Now, I've got bad habits too. I go to the gym, do similar thing every week. You should change it up, make a plan to make sure you do something different, or do a total different activity like I did. I went and tried a bungee workout. <laughs> Let's have a look at that. the creator of Bungie Workout. It's a full body workout using a specially designed equipment to provide the most awesome fitness experience. It's a powerful workout which delivers fight, flight and height to the max with equal measure of fun and laughter. Let's go find Ferris. Have the summer to review beach holiday, sunsets and leisurely things that I can get a top up tan? No, they've sent me to Liverpool to do a Bungie Workout. Have you seen what those guys have just done? How the heck am I going to look half these Something that. Okay, Paris, we're ready for you. Okay, let's do this. All right, then, everyone, this is our chance to fly. So, we're going to start with our jogging on the arc. Two more, three, two, one, and other side, step, lunge, step, same leg, step, lunge, step, keep going, you've got this. If you're standing central point, you've got a nice support from the bungee, however, the further you go, the more resistance there is, so a nice steady squat on the spot, whereas that, if you go further out, there's more resistance, it gets hard work. Same with your press up. Press up on the spot is relatively easy, the bungee is pulling you back. If you go further out, you've got a lot of resistance, you've got to pull yourself down onto the ground. It is quite hard work when you get into it. Two, one, stay out. Drive those hips, everyone. Keep finding that bounce to bring you back. Woo, lovely. Woo, yeah, well done. It really is a full body workout. The average session is between 45 minutes to an hour long. There is quick 30 minute cardio sessions and you can burn as much as 500 calories per session and have fun at the same time. Going back, step, leap, back, join in. Step, leap, back, keep going. And one, two, three, four, five, six, going back. Excellent. Yes, get some height. Whoop, woo. Well, that was a lot of fun. A bit more glamorous than the last attempt at something like that, you must agree. Um, but I'll definitely come back and try that. I'm holding on for dear life because my legs are really heavy now, being released from this. But it was great. Once you get your flight, you get your confidence, and you're off. And I want to do it again. Yeah, so you guys give this a try, it's amazing.
So most of us will pack and prepare our lunch. I've got my lunch today in my backpack, but we're all caught out. Some of us like eating out, and it's just fun to see what's on the high street with our food. Now, I think personally, food on the high street has come a long way. There's way more healthy options than there used to be. Right now, I'm walking past one of the small supermarkets, which means we can go in and pretty much get whatever we want. But when we're confronted with these food outlets that might be serving hot, quick meals, how can we assess whether we're gonna get something that's healthy? Now, if we talk about our general nutrition, what we would usually prepare for ourselves, that can give us an idea of what we might look for when we're looking to find a healthy option in a food outlet. Now, if you're entering into a food space and you generally want to get an idea of what to choose, think about your everyday diet. What would you usually eat? What would you aim for? Would you try and have a high protein content? Would you look to have a lot of fruits and vegetables? Would you want it to be high in carb? Then you can look at the menu and start to assess where your usual nutrition fits into what the menu is offering. We have got so many good options now on the high street. Now, if I was to think about what I would personally eat going into a food outlet or cafe, I want a decent protein content in my meal. I want lots of fruits and vegetables. I want it to taste good. I don't want too much carbohydrates. So really a bit of a balance between carbohydrates and fats. Now with that in my mind, already I can start to look at a menu and think, mm, what should I choose here? So I start to make the menu fit my needs. And that really allows us to choose a healthy meal for our goals and for our needs. Now what you often find with cafes and restaurants is we don't get that much fruit and vegetables. The protein content is often a little bit small. So maybe ask the person in the cafe or restaurant, maybe have a look at the people around you that are eating and what they're eating. Maybe have a look at the photos on the boards at the back so we can get an idea if this meal is gonna be up to the standard that we want because realistically we're setting the standard for the meal that we want we're choosing something that is healthful and meets our needs and our goals and of course we do want it to be tasty and that is where the advantage is with high street eateries they are serving great tasty food Week two, we're back in the gym. Before we start Ruth's workouts this week, just gonna talk a little bit about her nutrition. Um, we did a five day food diary at the start of this challenge, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, just to see currently what your eating habits were, what your nutritional yeah. sort of, you know, requirements were. Um, what we're now gonna do is, if you just tell us a little bit about, you know, what we found during that five days and, and what you were struggling with. Yeah, um, so basically I was just skipping breakfast and lunch and um, just having a busy schedule with, you know, being a mum and I was just loading up on all my food in the evenings and probably um, you know um, not eating the right foods as well at the yeah. wrong times and things like that. So what so. we found then basically is Ruth was really skipping breakfast, she was skipping lunch, having massive gaps throughout the day without eating anything. And that's not great because what it does is it slows your metabolism down a little bit and then you're more likely to overeat on the bad foods on an evening. So what we decided to do is set Ruth a calorie target of about 1,750 calories a day. What we've then done is we've set three meals per day, smaller meals Meals, so she doesn't skip breakfast anymore she has a lunch and then she has a dinner overall that's roughly around 1400 calories so what that allows us to do then is it gives us 300 calories that we can play around with on a daily basis doesn't it so yeah. you like to have an oat milk latte on a morning and um, so we've not stripped that out for roof we've just left that in there and then again if she wants a little snack here and there she's allowed that so it just you know gives you a little bit to play around with doesn't it every day yeah. so it's not 100% strict there is a bit of wriggle room in there and then we've also figured out that you know if you want to have like a social event on a weekend or on an evening we can work out your calories and amend that to give you the room to be able to do that yeah definitely yeah. So before we start uh, Ruth's session today, uh, I just want to talk a little bit about some supplements that I've recommended for Ruth to try throughout this 10 week transformation. Um, what we've got here for her is the Cellucor C4 Sport. So this is a pre-workout formula. Um, I've asked Ruth to take this before her sessions. A, it'll give her a little bit of just boost of energy before we start the sessions. And it also contains electrolyte support as well. So it'll just help her keep hydrated throughout that session. Um, the second product we've got for Ruth is the Extend Hydrosport Branch Chain Amino Acids. Um, the reason why I've asked her to um, take these is I want her to take these just throughout the day in general. Obviously we have a certain protein requirement for Ruth every single day and this is going to help her towards that target.
Then all you're going to do is curl up fast, and then three, two, one, and down. Now, trying to keep your elbows pointing at the roof, what I want you to do is come down to either side of your head, get the end of the dumbbell to touch your shoulder, push up fast. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is 45 degree dumbbell curl. I pull it up to the top, pause for one second at the top. Four, three, two, one. Nice and slow down. How's that feel? Lovely. <laughs> okay, straight into an overhead tricep press. Keep the elbow high, tense those abs. It's over onto the bench, up fast. In four seconds down, four, three, two, one. Completely lock your arm out. Over onto your cable pull down, overhand grip. Keep that back nice and straight. So keep those elbows tucked into the side. Completely locked down at the bottom. Four, three, two, one. Nice, good. Well done. Okay, so yes, yeah, so obviously what you want to do is both both knees in there if you can. Okay, then obviously the idea is to basically sink down. Again, nice and slow down, and then help that push you up, okay? So hold on to these. That's it. So yeah, it is hammer grips, you're right. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. and then pull-ups. Pull, 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 pull. Down, and then cut down. Yes. Wow. Nailed it. I'm so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your session done. How was that? Yeah, good. Um, a bit hard, but good. It's <laughs> all so good. It's going to get you the results. That's cool. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to get you on the shape watch again. Okay. Take your results for week two and then see how you're getting on, okay? All right, cool. Perfect. Yeah, sweet. Well done, perfect. So we've tracked your progress now for week two. Um, so we'll keep that up to date every week now and I'll see you next session. All right, cool. Cheers. Yeah, see ya. Well, as you can see, that was quite a bit of work, that bungee workout. I don't normally sweat, but I did have a sweat on that. It was good fun. <laughs> it looked like it. It was. I did get a bit cocky in the middle, but yeah, I enjoyed it. And how good it is to see Rue. She is looking so good already. If you guys want to get involved and you want to do some of the workouts that Ruth's been doing, they're all up on the website, so get, make sure you check those out. Yeah. And since we had our first cooking feature last week, we've had loads of people Contact us wanting to do it. If you want to be the person giving their recipe on the show next week, make sure to contact us, website or the socials, and it could be you. So today's Train With Feature, I'm lucky enough to have Amy Fuller, Olympic snowboarder, chatting with us today and taking us through a little workout. We want to know about you. First question I'd like to ask you, what are your top three achievements in snowboarding? Top three achievements. Uh, the first one would probably would stand out to me as uh, being the first woman to land a double in competition nice. at the X Games. Two Olympics under my belt and finishing third in 2017 in the World Cup Big Air Series. That's a pretty solid three. So I've seen your Instagram, I've seen you do some tricks. I want to know what your favorite trick is. The one that you like slam every time and just feels good. I'd definitely say it doesn't feel good slamming. <laughs> uh, but when I land, um, a backflip has to be probably my most favorite, purely because it was something when I was younger, I looked at the backflip and I was like, yes, I want to be able to do that. And I remember landing it for the first time. And now it's something that um, I can do quite easily. And it really releases a sense of freedom. You do a lot of HIIT training, also yoga. Give us an idea of kind of the different ranges of fitness regimes that you follow. Uh, so snowboarding requires many elements of fitness. Uh, it really is a test of the environment. In the gym specifically, um, I do a lot of power, stability, mobility, and flexibility work. Mm -hmm. uh, yoga is also a very big component of what I do. It's my time to utilize the calm to focus on prehab. Um, so any little niggles that I may have, uh, for example, in my feet um, and utilizing that flow as an opportunity to, to build strength and work on weakness. Well, you're an incredible lady and I'm excited to see what you do in the gym. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome, Laura. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I, I did. Ooh, yeah, that's I'm ready. The question. <laughs> we are here in my home gym. We're going to go through a sort of snow specific session. Uh, some of the elements that I use in my training. First off, starting with uh, this tasty number in front of us. I'm really happy you just eased me into this, not straight 
No. <laughs> All right, what is it? Okay, so for the warm up, we're going to be focusing on stability, agility, and explosive power. Easy as that, apparently. So you're going down and exploding up, and then the landing is really important to stomp, stabilizing the knees, mm -hmm. the glutes, the core. Yes! Nice, nice. Okay, second exercise, guys. Tell me. Okay, so we're dropping in hot with some plyometric banded hops. With this particular exercise, we've got glute activation as well as explosive strength and stabilizing through the knee joint. Key things to note, make sure your knees are going out over each other so they're in line rather than bending inwards. Nice. Good. Knees out. Knees out. Four. Not bad. Oh, it burns. Oh, it burns. Next one. Can't wait to find out. <laughs> okay, so we're firing with the next component of the workout. Um, these are, um, yeah, Cossack squats. They're very tasty. Um, great for, it's, it's kind of, I use this as a weighted mobility, so I don't go too heavy on it. Really helps with the elongating of the inside of the thigh. So, nice and strong core when you pick up the weight. Then you're gonna lift it up onto your back. So clean it up onto your back. Strong core. And your feet kind of just slightly wider than hip width. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna sit down into the squat. And then coming back up. So the next one is teamwork. Uh, Core activation, again, and glutes. This is a very centralized mm -hmm. action. Also is great for shoulder range. Partner picks up the feet, pulls you back. <laughs> it's an absolute killer. You will notice the box is back. Tell me, And that's what is because it? this is the all important finisher. You'll notice through the majority of the exercise, we have utilized mobility, mm -hmm. flexibility, and stability. So that can only mean one thing. We're gonna put all of those elements together for the all important pistol squat. On to one foot, you're gonna grab the, the floor or box, whatever feature you're on with your toes for stability. You can use your hand to grab the other leg and you're coming down into it and coming back up. Any variations, just out of curiosity? <laughs> variations could be putting your foot to the floor and stepping back up. Okay. But the aim is full deck pistol squat. So core strength and stability and flexibility all combined into one. Nice. <laughs> Definitely elements of balance required there, which of course you have. <laughs> you have to use your core so much. Nice. You don't want to get stuck down there. So aiming between <laughs> for between eight to ten uh, in each set. With a little breather in between. It's tasty. It's hard. <laughs> it's really I'm sweaty, but I feel worked out. I learned a lot of things. Thank you. I'm gonna take them into my surfing. Add those of core stability, explosiveness. Thanks, mate. You're more than welcome. Mm -hmm. Thanks everyone for joining us. I hope that you found it useful. Stability, agility, mobility, and core strength are just some of the attributes that will contribute to that surf or snowboard trip. This week's cooking feature is a little bit different for you guys. We've got some Brazilian treats for you. Juliana, how are you doing? I'm great, thank cool. you. What are you going to cook first this week? I'm going to cook tapioca. It's a very traditional plate from Brazil that my great grandmother introduced to me when I was just five. And it's very easy and fast way to cook. It's gluten free. Nice. Number one. Let's do it. Let's start it up. I'm ready. Okay. I'm excited. I've eaten this before, but I never knew how to make it, so I'm excited to learn. So, I, first thing I do, I place coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Okay, then I will make maybe three spoons of tapioca. So, I spread it. It's very fast, it takes three minutes to cook. So, it's a good like one before the gym, just a quick 
quick yeah. snack. Before the healthy. gym, I like, I like it with avocado, mm -hmm. olive oil, nice. a little bit of pepper and salt. Mm -hmm. And then when I come back, when I'm in a hurry, I just make with banana, cinnamon, and sometimes the strawberries also. Uh, the only time I've ever seen it was in Portugal when I was living there. And it was, again, from the Brazilians bringing it over. So you yeah, guys exactly. are bringing it now to Best Fit TV. You should eat tapioca yeah. every day. It's super tasty, I like it. But then you wait like for three minutes. Mm -hmm. When it's a bit dry, we have to turn. Yeah, so it's super good for people that are on the go. If you're a mom, teaching Pilates. Yes, of course. Nice. Low fire. Maybe you should make a little good. tapioca cafe. Mm. Yeah, that's what I wish for. Or for the healthy people. Mm -hmm. So when you turn it, be careful to don't break it, okay? Here we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna cook the egg in the water, of course. Because you just crack right? one egg in the water. Two, two eggs. Yes. This looks kind of easy. I feel like I can maybe do this. A little new snack for me. <laughs> yeah, very easy and healthy. And you feel satisfied for a long time. Like sometimes your friends ask you to go and meet them for snack or lunch, dinner, you just like, you have half tapioca, you're healthy, you're happy, you don't need to try anything else, you know? So that's how it keeps lean. The thing will look nice. It's beautiful. So the egg is almost done. I love it because it smells like coconut. I love coconut. Yeah. So if you want to, to like make like a vegan, mm -hmm. you can just add avocado, olive oil, lemon, a bit of pepper and salt. Nice. For the vegans out there? For the vegans, yes. Sometimes I also add almond butter. Nice, I love nut butter. But you have to be careful how you play with it, mm -hmm. as I said. If you want Not to lose so weight, you have to make uh, very light. But some people, they want to build that muscle. So you mix tapioca with eggs. You know, so for the guys that more want protein. to be stronger, yeah. you put more protein and it's very nice. Yeah, so everyone can eat this. If you want to lose weight, if you want everyone to get can eat bigger, this. stronger, slimmer, tapioca. I uh, see poaching of eggs is something I really struggle with. Yeah. Okay, so this is my poached egg. Mm -hmm. Put in water, of course. And then, I'm gonna mix it with cottage cheese. Nice. Very nice. I never saw cottage cheese at an egg before. Yeah. That's new. Brazilian as well, or no? Yeah, very Brazilian. A little bit of you know, pink salt mm -hmm. and pepper. You feed, do you give this to your kids too? This I give to my children? kids. You know, uh, for my daughter, I make tapioca like a pizza. It's so easy. I remember the first time I ate one of these and I thought that it was gonna be so hard to make, but you made it look so easy. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy to make it. And also, you can add a bit of chia seeds on top of it, okay? This one is very good for the digestive system. Helping digestion, helping metabolism, That's keeping it. you with a lot of energy. And you can cook like in three minutes. In a hurry, sometimes you can invite friends home mm -hmm. to have some tapioca night. I hope I'm invited for the next yeah, tapioca night. Okay, for sure. <laughs> Watering. I cannot wait to try your tapioca. Let's get stuck in. Mm. It's so good. It's so nice. It's like kind of crunchy on the outside, but then the yeah. egg makes it all smooth. The tapioca was a complete success. Thank you so much for making me this Thank little snack. Trying. If you guys want to be on next week's show making us one of your little treats, then make sure you check out the website and contact us. I'm going to try the sweet one now. <laughs> that was another great show. I loved doing the bungee workout and I love watching you with the tray and me. You had lots of fun with Amy. Yeah, it was good. I think I thought we would do a lot more similar things in our workouts, mm -hmm. but actually 
Yeah, do a yeah. few different things. So would her routine help you with your surfing? Yeah, definitely. You're going to take those things with me. Thanks, Amy. Brilliant. <laughs> and uh, here you've got a little challenge for us today. Yeah, it is my turn this week for the challenge. It's only week two of the series, so we're going to take it easy. We're going to do one of those things you love to hate. It's the burpee. It's a full body workout and you're going to love it at the end of it. Are you going to join me? <laughs> no, no, that's all you. <laughs> no, we should do it together. No. It's a burpee. You didn't help me last week. <laughs> Let's go. OK, guys, well, next week, Faris is going to be going to an inflatable obstacle course and we have CrossFit legend Shelley McCoy. See you then.